Hi, let me tell you a little story. Um, when I say I've been doing karaoke for 30 some years, I kind of lied a little bit. I did karaoke from 1992 to 2008. Then 2008, me and my late wife, we went to a karaoke bar known as Tommy's down in downtown Moline, Illinois. Now, there was this couple, and she could sing really good, and he was kind of deaf, so he kind of sucked. But it was his birthday. It was his birthday. Now, 2008 was a very instrumental year when it comes to people that like to smoke, like myself. 2008 was the year that you had to go outside to smoke. You had to go outside to smoke. You couldn't smoke inside the bar. Can they even be in the game? Is it politically incorrect? 2006, all the Democrats took over in Illinois and Iowa, and they passed all these smoking laws. Because of, you know, it was a backlash from Katrina. The backlash from Katrina, Illinois, Iowa, both of them all went Democrat. All went anti smoking. Okay? So, I was in there singing. She went outside to have a smoke. He was outside there too. It was his birthday, so she flashed him. She flashed her tits at him. He went and he sucked on her tits. It drove her so crazy that she says, I don't want to go to a karaoke no more. So, I didn't go to no karaoke no more. So, from 2008 to 2013, I didn't go to karaoke. But, here's the thing. 2013, January. Can I go back to karaoke? Oh, no. I didn't go back to karaoke. I went from trying to go from karaoke to the top. I went, I drove from here in January in cold weather from here to Columbus, Ohio to try out for America's Got Talent. And I haven't been on stage for over five years. And uh, let's just say that I, within 32 hours, I was from my home to Columbus, Ohio and back. I really sucked donkey dicks. So then I had to say, I, I gotta go back to the minor leagues. I gotta go back to the minor leagues and you know get back in the groove and figure out you know how to do karaoke again. I had to go back to figure out how to do karaoke again after she passed away. Oh, she passed away in 2012. I forgot to mention that. She passed away in 2012. And so I had to go back to the, the drawing board. There was no social media. It was not, it was a thing, but it wasn't really a thing. I think I was on it, but I really didn't care. But, um, yeah, that's the, that's the truth, folks. I took a break from karaoke for five years. So, technically, I've been doing karaoke for 20-some years, 28 years, whatever. So, that's, that's the story, folks. But, I went from doing that to being your karaoke king. Your karaoke king! And don't you forget it. Woo! Alright, thank you much.